Okay, so we are going to do some spa salts today. These are what I call intention salts. So we're gonna do a um, an anxiety relief, which is lavender and sage. We'll do a self-love, which is a, um, a mix of berry and plum and pears um, and a little citrus, really pretty smell. And then abundance. So it's, you know, you take the bath and you, you have the intention um, set. Maybe you light a candle that kind of goes with the scent or one of the scents in these um, eucalyptus and peppermint. And we're gonna add a little spearmint to that as well. Just a complete nice mint blend. Um, so what I have is a combination of European spa salts that are coarse, um, European spa salts that are fine, and Epsom salts. So we're using, so we're using three different kinds. So let me put my gloves on so we can get going. So we're going to add our fragrance to each, um, our essential oils, and then we are going to add some botanicals too. And I have some wonderful um, botanicals that are basically like bath tea blends that are so nice. We're going to begin with, I'm gonna put this one aside, these two aside and bring this one over. Um, so this is my own blend of um, eucalyptus essential oil, we have peppermint essential oil, and there's a little spearmint as well. It's really nice, very invigorating, this scent. Um, I definitely love this one, it's a good one. So um, the, the salts are layered and need to be mixed up. I'm gonna bring the coarse one, it's like all the way on the bottom, so I wanna make sure I bring that through. And you have to declump, of course. So sometimes I get my salts. I do like to get my spa salts from Wholesale Supplies Plus, Crafter's Choice. They have really nice, um, a nice selection of the fine and the chunky, thick, coarse spa salts. I also order in bulk from San Francisco Salt Company. I really like theirs as well. All right, so we're gonna begin by adding in some of our oils. I'm just kind of mixing this up. It's a big production day this weekend before I'm away. I'm making two batches of soap and getting this done. Seeing what I can get ready because we're gonna have a lot of with scrubs coming up too that I'm gonna need to, not a lot, but gotta add that to the rotation. And I still have quite a few scrub for um, soaps to make. So stay ahead of the game here. Okay, so that one's mixed. We're gonna mix the next one because I wanna let them sit for a while before I add the botanicals so it's not like wet so that oils have a chance to kind of um, soak in. This one is the Self Love. I can't tell you, I, I really, really love this particular um, fragrance. And if you had tried the Tickled Pink soap, it smells just like that. And there's also a Tickled Pink perfume now because this has been um, pretty popular. So we're gonna get this one done. It's a pretty light fragrance. coarse salts through here. It's a really nice mixture. And again, we're gonna let these sit. All right, so there's number two. And then the last and final, last but not least, of course, is the lavender sage, which is always popular, but I do not have that many labels right now. So until I get more, I'm just doing a small batch to at least I ensure I get this going, but I've got to open a new lavender sage here. Let's see if I have one already open. This one's pretty strong. We don't need much. Okay. 
mixed with lavender and white sage. Very healing, anti-stress, kind of cleansing. These are really nice for the new year, but you will get them in March this time. A new quarter of the year, I will say. Okay, so we're going to let these three sit, let everything soak in, and then we're going to come back to it. All right, now that we're back, we're going to add in some botanicals. And I'll show you one of them. This is a tea blend that is like a calm and relaxed tea. So that one's going to go into, it's really pretty. It's got, I'll let you look at it. It's got rose and hibiscus and kinds of lovely things in there. Okay, so that is our lavender blend. And then our eucalyptus and mint, since it's more invigorating, is a kind of a workout tea blend. Good for the muscles, good for when you wake up. This is definitely not your um, relaxation blend. This is abundance. We are trying to bring good things into our life and we need to have a nice awake moment to do that. Okay. And then finally, we have the self-love. Also getting the relaxing kind of rose blend. I have another relaxing blend, but I just really like this one better. So we're using with maybe a little more roses than this one because it's self-love. You can see the rosebud here. Okay. So now all we have to do is get them put in their containers. So we're gonna do, um, let's see. The lavender sage will do first. So these are my bags that are open in the back. So this is like a single bath blend. I used to do bigger ones, but I found that people like these because they can just kind of dump them in all at once and set their intention, call it a day. A little harder to fill when they're smaller, but it's all right. See what they look like on that side. Okay, so that only made three for right now. Again, we're gonna fill that up later. It smells lovely. This is the self love. Gets me ahead of the game and shows you what the process looks like. Make them so you can envision what is coming. So again, these are going to be single use, just one bath. Give them a dump in. So by the time you guys are seeing this, I'll actually be in the Outer Banks. Me and my dog, my mom will be there for a little bit. My son's gonna come down and work remotely there too, which is, you know, I'll be working um, just in a different location because I can work from home for my full-time job that I really love. Wonderful company, just a wonderful group to work for. And freedom in working remotely is amazing. So another reason to do this quarterly sale lets me kind of just plan and I don't just have a, the website open all the time. I opened Etsy just yesterday since the holidays. Before the holidays, I had it closed 
you know, I closed it off, I think, right before I went to Germany and just did not reopen it. Um, you know, I opened it just yesterday and some sales came through that I'll have to take care of on um, Monday, but then I'm gonna just shut it down again. And I don't know when I will open it. But we'll see. It's always um, it's gift boxes and it really depends if, you know, Kim's able to come over and help out. Okay, so we'll close that one off. And then finally we have the abundance. I think we're all looking for a little abundance in the new year for sure. Goodness, I cannot open these things to save my life today. You know, advice type videos that you want to see. I already have a list. I'm kind of keeping track from the comments that you guys leave. Um, you know, you'll say, have you shared, you know, about your packaging or where you get your packaging and that kind of thing. Um, so I just make a note to myself to include that in the, one of the videos. So I'm going to be doing chatty videos at the beach so they'll be kind of interspersed with these. All right, let me get this cleaned up and I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.